Really dangling that leg down then. And that light's picking out that orange so it's nice. Lovely, yeah, it's a lovely contrast, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Presumably it is feeding on something that just knocked the kestrel off. Marcus told me you were going to get to the loop yesterday. I, I couldn't go yesterday and I was toying with it today and in the end I favoured coming in the morning. Right. I went yesterday with my son and uh, he goes to three o'clock and uh, he was much more furtive than I expected. Mm. Yeah, you great. get this impression that it's constantly sort of showing its back or something. Yeah, I mean literally uh, you, you, you never saw its tail and no. you've got very fleeting glimpses of its head and 
it would come up and do three little bits of breathing and then um, down for five or ten minutes and then right. it, you know you often uh, just disappear for an hour uh, a couple of times because there's so many barges it was mm. you know it's actually quite hard to see yeah know, the viewing cold conditions cold. are really quite difficult yeah unless they'd be in the wrong place for it um, well i could have gone today but i had to take my stuff up to my son in york right so i was up at 6 30 got to york by nine before to uni then uh second no, year now second year, yeah, yeah. and then back down for yeah. I got friends' daughters as well, she's at York University. Oh, right, yeah. That's a good university. Oh, yeah. oh feathers flying about. It really is just sitting down there. Preening. We had a um, almost certain hen harrier as well. Oh, right. Really. What, what ringtail? Yeah. Oh. Very, um, you know, different. Not particularly different profile, but very different underneath. It was sort of streaky and grey, right? Yeah, yeah. So it might have been an adult sort of female. Right. Yeah. It was sort of, in distance terms, the back of this field going across quite quickly. Yeah, see, uh, two together, isn't it? Yeah. Is that red kites? There's, the back there. there are absolutely hordes of them here. There. And about, I hadn't been seen for about an hour. And one guy looking the other way saw it fly, it must have been half a mile oh, the, the other way, and the, and the sort of bank, <coughs> bank at the back. So we sort of chased over and sort of, sort, of, sort of guessed where it might have landed, and in the end, it came out. It, it yeah. came out, yeah. But we, and, and sort of came back over the bank and then landed quite close, which is why it's possible to get that what, what I got of it. Well, when I was at, 16, 16 year old, I managed to persuade my school teacher to do a bird club trip to Slimbridge and the American Bittern in South Wales, and we went the day after it had gone. Oh. But, you know, I was really upset because it was such a rare bird, but in yeah. fact, we saw two lesser white fronted geese at Slimbridge that day, and of course, you know, they're a critically endangered species yes. and much, much rarer now. And because of, because of the introduction schemes, anyone that turns up here now, you'll be <coughs> hard pushed, though, that it hasn't had some sort of human intervention at some stage it's like a bit more of it on show than it has yeah. been. Yeah, just see what the rest. No, I was very uh the, the, my experience with your your colleagues has been really good in recent times. Um, you know, compared to what people used to say about the kind of predecessor organisation. Yeah. So you, without giving too much away, you were definitely seen as one of the development directors that um, the friendlier ones. Is friendly, yeah, yeah. and. Engage, yeah, but it's. I think you know, gradually with the schools and with the, the colleges, there's more better collaboration and more realization that Kudo are trying to just steal the yeah, steal the crown and jewels a Aaron's been very, very good for that. They live not far from here, actually. Yeah, they're Melbourne, aren't they? Yeah, Meldreth. Meldreth, oh, yeah. Maybe Sun Plays for a football team. Yes, yes, they're coming in later this week. Yes, I can, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> they come back, coming back for whatever it took. Let's go. Let's go. Off oh, the kestrel's there. Look at that. He looks so menacing, doesn't he, the kestrel? I think. Did you be sure that its legs are wide enough? I mean, it, it could recover from it. I had a wood pigeon in my garden this summer that was lame as hell hobbling about. I've got it on 60. You're on 60 there? Yeah. Lame as hell hobbling about, and this... I can reach your silly man. Right?
really long tail. Mm. Beautiful bird. Quite cheap neck, it seems much. No further sign of beluga by 2 p.m. Oh, you're kidding, I just texted George, have you seen it? No. I might be having a right dip day for dip buff press of salmon, I don't know. There you go. Yeah, I got it, mate. I got it. It's good. Yeah. Where's he gone? Oh, he's gone way left. As soon as I start to film it, it disappears, half disappears. It's large, it's slightly smaller than a buzzer. Eh? Well, it's finer than a buzzer, the buzzer's quite chunky. Yeah. It's got a, a, a narrower, thinner body. <laughs> but the most amazing thing about oh, it, missed it, these young ones, is, is how orange they are. Very pale, hence the name. They're almost white. 